I like the new clothes. You ready to get out of here? Mm-hmm. In a minute. Jody went to sleep. Cool. I think we've seen the last of the guys. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. There's still like, what, four minutes of girls' night out left? I've had enough of girls and guys. There's an old horror movie on. Works for me. <sighs> Are you cold? So what are we doing today? <laughs> I'm sleeping. No, you're not. We're going to breakfast. Then, then we're going shopping. <laughs> Don't you have school? Yeah, but my mom's in Europe and my stepdad's completely clueless. Aren't you sick of me yet? We've hung out every single day this week. No, why are you sick of me? No, no, of course not. It's just, um, Jody's still here. I thought she was going back to LA. Yeah, yeah, she was, she was, but, um, we got into this huge fight, and then... And then you spent the rest of the night making up? Who's knocking on my door at 9 in the morning? Yeah, right. Saved by the bell. Are you calling me from outside my door? Because that would be creepy. Ah, good to see you too, Alex. Seth. Seth? Can I call you back? So, you and Seth are... Friends. I hope. Someday. And you and Jody are over, finished, for good. Mm, really? How does she feel about that? Um, she hates me now, but I mean, we mean too much to each other to let. That bitch! She stole my necklace. Oh, which one? We bought each other these matching heart shaped necklaces like a year ago, and mine's gone. I can't believe her. Well, how do you know she took it? Because she was using the fact that I still wear mine as a sign that I'm not over her, which I am. I just... I loved it. Well, so let's go get it. You want to go to L.A. now? I can't. I have work. So we'll go tomorrow. How? You have school. No. I have a mom who's spa hopping and a stepdad who doesn't care about anyone but himself. Come on. You can't let her steal your heart. So, what does the butterfly mean? Oh, um, it means I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Yeah, I was drunk. I had just gotten emancipated from my parents, and the words mom and dad with a huge X through them was way too expensive. You got emancipated? Not only child stars did that. Yep, me, Hillary Duff, Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> Wait, so how did you do it? I petitioned the court. I had my parents sign the form, which they were more than happy to do when they found out about me and Jody, and um, that was it. I was free. Well, wish I could do that. Piss your parents off bad enough. Believe me, I've tried. Well, then I guess they really love you. Do you ever miss yours? Sometimes. But my friends are my family, you know? Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, we came for and then get the hell out of here, right? You all right? You seem nervous. No, I'm not. I just... Don't let her intimidate you, okay? And, and let me do all the talking. And, uh... Don't mention anything about the necklace. I thought you were over her. I am. I am. I just... Don't let her talk me into staying the night. 
You can't. You have to take me home. Right. Good one. Remember that. I had a feeling it might... What is she doing here? We came to get Alex's stuff. And we're not staying. If you say so. Sure you don't want a beer? We have to drive back. Tonight. Okay. So far, I have found two t-shirts, a bra, and my fat jeans. What else do you have of mine? Nothing, I swear. So then you wouldn't mind if I kept looking? Oh, uh, you can look all night if you want. I won't be long. Breakups, huh? Get ready. You're next. Oh, no, I'm not her. I'm sure you're not. My motorcycle boots! Those are mine! How can you say these are yours? Because I bought them. Okay, see? That is your problem. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Tell me what my problem is. I can't wait to hear this. I don't even know where to begin. You know what? Keep my boots, keep my records. It's fine. It's not fine. What are you talking about? You can't just come in here and take all your stuff. What do you want from me? I want you to stay. I want to talk about what's going on here. Why don't you take Alex's Jeep home? I'll bring him back later. I can't. Why not? Well, do you think I'm really going to leave my girlfriend alone with you overnight? I thought she wasn't your girlfriend. Yeah, well. Thank you again. Let's go. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> really? You think she bought it? Are you kidding me? She thought you and I were sleeping together when she met you at the club last week. She did? I defended your honor. I appreciate that. Are you kidding? I owe you so much now. I got my fat jeans, I got my CDs, and who cares if I didn't get my heart? How did you? I'm sneaky like that. And now you have both. No. This one's yours. We gotta get you home, huh? No. I have a better idea. Let me just change my shirt and then we can get out of here. Your shirt is fine, I'm telling you. Then why is it sticking to me? Am I bleeding? Let me see. Oh, wow. No, you're not bleeding. See for yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so hot. Oh, my oh. God. What have you done? Nothing. Get out of here, Caleb. This is my house. My home. Fine. You know what, then? We'll leave. You're not going anywhere. Oh, really? Are you going to stop me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, Alex. Nice house. Oh, my God. Did we really drink that much last uh, time? We drank that much here. Who knew you harbor chicks could throw down? Yeah, well, I'm not like the other girls. Well, then I guess it's about time I show you the meth lab in the basement. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> so, I guess you have to go to school. Say hi to Seth for me. I kind of miss his little chicken arms. What's he been up to? He hasn't bugged me for a while. Um, I don't know, but I was kind of thinking of skipping school today. I mean, how much is there to learn about the Aztecs anyway? Nothing, really. That's exactly what I was thinking. So, what do you want to do? Well, you ready for that surf lesson? Yes, awesome. Um, let me just jump in the shower, if that's okay. Oh, wait. 
wait, do you have another shirt I can borrow? Because this one kind of smells like cigarettes. <laughs> Something Seth drew. It's a demon water polo player, I guess. He left it here. Maybe in 10 years I'll sell it on eBay or something. So what's the deal with you guys? We never really left the ground. You know, we taxied down the runway but never achieved liftoff. Yeah, I just got out of one of those. Yeah, well, they're good for getting over someone, I guess. Or getting you ready for someone. Hey, can I crash at your place again? Anything to avoid hanging out with my stepdad? It works for me, but... Can I ask you a question? Sure. What are you doing with me? Picking up a pint of Cherry Garcia and renting some DVDs. I mean, sleeping over, hanging out all the time, borrowing my clothes. Things that never happened with Seth and I was dating him. Well, Seth's not really your size. No, but he was, however briefly, my boyfriend. Maybe you're right. I should probably sleep at home anyway. I'm out of fresh clothes as it is. OK. Oh, and I'll wash this shirt, get it back to you. No, don't worry about it. God, you almost kissed him? Shouldn't you be at the hospital? Eh, whatever. It's just Caleb. Ryan said he'll be fine. Besides, he's like a, a cockroach, you know? He'll outlive us all. <laughs> Again, you almost kissed Cohen. It was not an almost kiss. It was a nose graze. Totally different. Not totally. Sometimes you can just have, like, a moment with someone. You know, when you're doing something totally random and it's just, like, charged or something. Who you been nose grazing with? What? No one. I just mean... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, even if you're dating a totally hot guy that really likes you, you can still get flustered by a bobble-headed geek in size 27 jeans. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. And what are you supposed to do about it? I think it depends on who the person is. If it's Cohen, well, I think you need to use all your weapons in your designer handbag to defend yourself. If it's a normal person, you go for it. What if it's someone whose nose you never thought you'd graze? Do you mean like Princess Sparkle? Hmm? Hmm? Nice! <laughs> you are young, you are single, and you have a cute nose. So why not put it out there? So should we make more copies? You, know, you don't have to hang around here all day and help me. Please, any excuse to avoid my house. My mom's been home for like three hours and already I'm going insane. You know, my mom used to drive me crazy too. And then one day I just decided I was not gonna let it bother me anymore. You make it sound so easy. No, every time my mom channels Satan, I take a deep breath, count to three, give her a big smile, and say something like, interesting idea, mom, I'll give that some thought. And that really works? Women like that, they thrive on confrontation. But if you refuse to engage, then there's not really anything they can do, which makes them go even more out of their heads. Wow, sounds like a fun way to spend an evening. But you know, anyone who can make my mom even crazier gets a free dinner. So what do you say? OK. But not tomorrow night. I don't do Valentine's Day first dates. I think it's a jinx. OK. But next week, when we don't have Hallmark breathing down our necks, we'll go on a date. Cool? You were coming by. Neither did I. I. I guess I'm just sort of here. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm okay. I just had a terrible dinner with my mom. My technique work? Guess so. But also, it was knowing I could come here and see you. Not that I want to put any pressure on you or anything. It's just that's how I feel. And I had to say it. Are you in the mood for the beach? Now? Yeah. It's, it's almost time. Time for what? For the tide to change. It's a little ritual I have for whenever something really major is about to change in my life. I thought you said no dating on Valentine's Day. 
Screw it. Come on. I'm a huge fan of spontaneous first dates. You left it. I am too. supposed to sneak up on people. Oh yeah, why's that? Because they might be angry. So, my friends are coming down this weekend and I was gonna have a little party. Wow, how very Newport of you. No, I was thinking that maybe you would want to invite Summer. Sure, okay. Oh no, you haven't told her about us, have you? I was going to. It's. I don't know, I just assumed because she's your best friend, but it's no big deal. You've got to wait till you're ready. I'm ready, okay? Like you said, she's my best friend. I tell her everything. Just make sure your party doesn't suck, okay? Okay. <laughs> hey, I know you weren't expecting me till later, but... Well, what's going on? Oh, party got started a little early. I thought they weren't coming till tonight. But, um, hey, everyone, this is Marissa. Hi, how are you? Hi. Come in, let me get you a drink. Oh, no, you know, I actually can't stay. What are you talking about? Well, I just came by to say hi. I'll call you later. It was nice meeting you. Marissa, what are you doing? Stay. No, no, I can't. I'm gonna be late. But wait, you're gonna come back later, right? Because I really, really want you to meet my friends, and that in there didn't really count. Uh, well, I'll try, but Caleb's having this party at her house. Wait, you're ditching me for Caleb? Well, not just Caleb. I mean, my mom will be there, too. Oh, wow. Now it's Caleb and your mom? Listen, Chris, I understand if you're freaked out. That's okay. You just have to tell me. But this hanging with your parents, that's not you. I'll just be there for a little while. Okay, I'll just go score some points. That way they can't bitch when I come and see you, right? Yeah. Have fun at your party. Tell Caleb and Julie I said hi. I've been dating Alex. What? I mean, Alex and I, we've been dating. What? Just for a couple of weeks. Alex! Seth's Alex? Mm -hmm. Girl Alex? Yeah. Huh. Well, who knows? Uh, just you. Oh. So you and Alex? Uh-huh. So are you... Are you like a... No, no, I don't know. I just... I really like her. Well, she is pretty hot. Hey, look, you don't have to say anything. I just... I really needed to tell you. We're still friends, right? Of course we are. Come here. Oh. This isn't turning you on, right? <laughs> Hi. Where is everyone? Oh, um, turns out I wasn't really in the mood for a party, so the girls went out. That was Caleb's. Pretty much awful. Listen, I got freaked out. I know. It's just I tried to tell Summer and I couldn't. Oh. Yeah. And then I came here thinking we'd talk about it. You got even more freaked out. I just figured if I can't even tell my best friend, then maybe I'm not ready for this. So you're here to break up with me? Then I told her. Wait, you told Summer about, about us? Mm-hmm. So, where'd your friends go? Seriously? Well, you still want me to meet them, don't you? Hey. Good morning, Marissa. Oh, I 
didn't know you had a friend over last night. I'm Julie Cooper Nichol. Alex. Ah, oh, so you're the feisty young lady Caleb mentioned. Well, I was just making bagels. So I figured if the Coens can do it, why can't we? Oh, none for me, thanks. I don't eat breakfast. Oh, it's very punk of you. You know, I used to like the punk in my day. Mom. Oh, you're right, Marissa. It still is my day. I was just being modest. Oh. We'll be keeping kosher in no time. So how about this weather, huh? Unbelievable. Yeah. I think I have to go, but very nice to meet you. Oh, rock on. She seems nice. Uh-huh. And you know, I have no problem if you want a friend to stay over. It's just if you could let me know beforehand. Oh, you didn't get the memo? Uh-huh. You know what, Marissa? I don't think it's too much to ask to know what's going on underneath my roof. That's all. Oh. You want to know what's going on with me? I'm going to tell you the truth. No screaming, no crying, just the truth. You have no idea how happy it makes me to hear that. Hold that thought. Alex is my girlfriend. I know. And I'm so happy that you've made a new friend, although I hope we keep seeing some. No, Mom. Not my friend who's a girl. My girlfriend. Yeah. Wow, I told her. You told who what? My mom, about us. I can't believe it, but I did. You, uh, you told her. Well, I thought you'd be happy. No, I, I, it just depends. Did you tell her to piss her off? Hey, look, I told her so this could be real. For us. Wow. <laughs> so, what happens now? She's probably having a meltdown as we speak, so I, mean, I can't go home. So stay here. You sure? Yeah. But first, <laughs> let's get you out of these white clothes. No, actually, here to get my job back. No, 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 no. What? You were like the flakiest employee in Bait Shop history. You think that's an easy accomplishment? What about Homer the beer guy? And how long would you be planning on keeping your job this time? I can make $500, so however long that is, please, Alex, Alex, Alex. I don't know, Seth. With great power comes great responsibility. Yes. Oh, thank oh. you. Listen to me. It's going to be like no one ever peed in the bathrooms, ever. OK, the only other thing, though, is I kind of need an advance. Well. You're lucky today was paid. Hey, Alex, should I be getting dressed or are we going back to that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You broke up with me. For Marissa. Do you want your money? Hey, who better than a superhero understands secret identity? Okay. Now, hold on. Just want to make sure I have the visual. OK, I got it. Great. Thank you. Hey, listen, Alex. Thank you. Both of you for everything. I mean, keep doing what you're doing. Okay. I like it. You got a minute? Not really. I would like to talk to you about your friend, Alex. I'm sure you would, Mom. Look, Marissa, I experimented, too, when I was your age. Albeit it involved a little motley crew and a lot of Jaeger. Whoa, way too much information. I'm just saying, I understand that this is a phase, but I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't. Right. This way you avoid any public embarrassment. Where are you going? I'm moving out. What? You have my cell if Caleb kicks and you need help counting your cash. Um, there's no more closet space. No. I know, I'm sorry. It's okay. I can learn to live with less shoes. Oh, I gotta get to work. Hey, you wanna walk me? I love walking in the rain. Sure. Cool. Oh, uh, garbage day's tomorrow. Do you mind taking out the cans? And rent is due the first day of the month. Okay, rent. I know, it's really real, huh? No turning back. It's real. Bet you never did anything this crazy before. I'm gonna grab my jacket. Thanks for walking me. 
Are you sure you don't want to come in? The band is really, really good. Oh, no, I should get back. The dishes aren't going to wash themselves. Okay. Marissa's happy now. Okay, and by happy, you mean, you mean gay. Uh, that's funny. Big daddy said it's okay, hold another Our clothes are all pink. Uh, pink is the new black. I wrote it in W. Well, I mean, separating your whites, who knew? Everyone who's ever had to do their own laundry. Look, I'm sorry, we'll get new stuff. With what? Have you found an after school job? I'm working on it. Lucky for you, I look really good in pink. Maybe today we could do something fun. It's the weekend. Maybe we could go to the beach. Or the pier. That sounds great, and I would love to, but I have to work. But maybe tonight I can pick up some takeout and we can go sit by the water? Okay, sounds good. Oh, uh, if a big fat guy with an I Heart NASCAR tattoo shows up, don't answer the door because he's our landlord and we're late on rent. Hi. broken into so I'm assuming you haven't been abducted but uh I guess I'm gonna jump in the shower call me <laughs> ah! I know you're like you know into chicks now and everything but do you ever think about getting back together with him Alex and I'm not saying this to be mean because you actually seem like a nice enough girl and I like your pants but you are this week's yard guy. Marissa's latest drama, weapon of torture to inflict against me. You don't know that. Yeah, honey, I do. Marissa's only been in love once, and he looked a whole lot different in a wife, Peter. I should. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't end up going to my mom's. Well, I ran into Summer. I think I'm just gonna hang in her place. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, bye. Alex? Yeah. Oh, it's not that she's the jealous type. Right, I mean, why would she be jealous? Exactly. She'd just be bummed to be missing. Oh, this. Hey, what's up? Nothing, I, I just wanted to see what we're up to after school. I feel like we haven't had a lot of time to hang. I know, I just, I have this project to work on after school with Ryan. With Ryan? Uh-huh, what thing? This bonfire pep rally? You never mentioned a pep rally. Yeah, well, I kind of have a handle on your sense of school spirit. Yeah, good point. Um, so I guess I'll just see you at home. Hello? Yeah, sorry. I'll see you later. Good night. Try again. What do you think you're doing? Let me try to put it in a way you'll understand. Stay away from her. Alex, <laughs> there's nothing going on. What are you talking about? Studying late together? Sharing a sleeping bag? Yeah, there's nothing going on at all, hey, Ryan. Hey, listen to me. No, no, no. You listen to me. Don't go near my girlfriend again. You understand me now? I'll go away. Hey, uh, 
I'm not going to be able to make it tonight. But uh, the wood's ordered, and you have the plans, so everything should be fine. Have fun. Who was that? <clears throat> My mom. More empty threats. You were asleep last night when I got home. Yeah. Yeah, I was really tired. You should try sleeping in a tent with Ryan. Oh, but you already did that. Look, I'm sorry. I was going to tell you that. It's just, I didn't want to make it a big deal. Well, it wasn't until you lied. I didn't lie. I just lied? No big deal. What the hell are you doing here? Good for Marissa. This is you staying away? It's not about me. I'm here because of her mom. What, what? You and Julie Cooper a team now? Yeah, where is she? She's at her little bonfire. All right. I don't know. You remember what I told you last night. You stay away from her. Her what? You want to find out? Sure. You go down there. It's on. Great. You know, this sort of thing used to be my specialty. Oh. A little word of advice. You got to work this hard. It's not working. skeezy ex-cons to your bonfire. Actually, only one of them ever really served time, but... So what happens now? Who knows? I think I might go back home, save some money, go back to school. It actually looks kind of fun. Yeah, for me really far away. Come on. You're gonna miss the human pyramid. 